This video demonstrates a creation of geological models and reserves calculation. In general, this process includes drill hole processing, statistical analysis, interpretation, great interpolation, and reporting. You start working with the creation of a database in the system. You can add data manually or import it from cartographic materials or other systems. After the data is inserted, the system identifies boreholes that allow the processing of structural and solid modeling with analysis, great interpolation, and validation. The first step is a drill hole process. You have to create a database or import it from different formats. Then you should set up the frequency for the drilling process, color indications, and other parameters depending on the type of the ore extraction. If multiple people interact with the database at the same time and there is a disparity between calculations, the system will notify you. When you're populating the database, each borehole can have different parameters with their own colors. You can see the spot setup of boreholes in 3D where you see all their parameters. The next step is a statistical analysis based on the data inserted. Our system works with different distribution laws of useful component. It can show different possibilities where there are more useful components or less because all deposits can be allocated equally or chaotically. You can see the pick of useful components and their various possibilities. After the statistical analysis, you can build structural and solid modeling. You can see how the useful component is changing in 3D. In general, you can contour boreholes based on the cuts then build solid and frame models. You can also see an example where red and blue components are different types of breeds. After you contour the cuts, you can create a 3D model of a useful component based on these contours. After that, you should calculate the solid volume. In order to build blocks, you should also model a volume of breed quality. The next step is geostatistical analysis in 3D that works on the quality distributes. You need to pick variables of quality distribution, and based on this chart, we can calculate quality distribution in 3D. As you can see, if you set up different parameters, the final calculation changes. After the geostatistical analysis, you need to estimate grade and interpolation using different methods such as nearest neighbor, IDW, ordinary and simple Kriging, and multiple indicator Kriging. For example, here a specialist does interpolation calculation by using Kriging method. As you can see, in the end all calculations should look like a great estimation with all types of useful minerals and boreholes. To receive results like that, you need to start building a block model by setting up different colors to different types of breed. After that, you can calculate a block model and solid volume by putting different properties in the calculation window. After that, you can create integration models. You should combine models that you already have with boreholes. If you apply the model you built on the open pit, you can see how it looks with additional layers. Using geological software, we created models with iron ore deposits, gold, titanium, granite, limestone and chrysotile deposits, coal deposits, and oil and gas deposits.